as well. Oh, does that mean we have fruit? Oh, man. I, you know, I, I think I mentioned on an episode before that I really need to eat more fruit. Yes. And then, you know, I, what we I, did talk about that. You know what I did? You know what I did after that? What's that? I didn't eat more fruit. <laughs> So here we are, we have an island, which is nice, although we won't stay here forever, but I have a thing. Wait, you have a thing? I do have a thing, and it's and it, I'm very impressed with it because it's a plan, which means my brain worked. Oh, <laughs> what's that like? I, I, you know, it doesn't happen to me very often, but um, I got this plan... And oh, I thought, well, I need to write this down and record it and everything because I, uh, otherwise I'll forget it. So, I, okay. Here's our raft. But we, such, such as it is, yes. We need a bigger raft. So I'm thinking that we should make this really big and then we can have this floor and then we'll make another floor above it and then we'll make another top floor and what we can do is one of us can have like a living room or a bed area or whatever on on this floor and then another one can okay. have another one upstairs and then up on top of that we can have all the storage and everything and we can have a place back out here where we can grow a bunch of stuff all the storage up on the top floor yeah why not well i mean not all of it just like personal things like you know i I mean, I don't need to see your underwear or anything like that. So, you know, we can keep that in our, you know, where no, we live. Those, those are mine. No, you, I don't you, know. You don't get to see those. No, I don't know. I'll be I'll be fine. I, you you take care. I'm not going to wash your underwear. I mean, we're in a, you know, a very tight spot here because we're stranded on, you know, a raft and everything. But I'm not washing your underwear. That's... No, th no look, there's... No. I, our situation might be pretty dire here, but uh, there's there are some limits. Yes, and underwear it starts with underwear. That's <laughs> that's, 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 that's where we draw the line. We're drawing the line in underwear. That's um, because I don't know about you, but I, I and I would I would rather nobody wash my underwear except me either. I don't know. Well, speaking of storage, we do need a little bit more. I was. So. You know, I'm I'm agreeing with you on that, and I know what's going to happen. We're going to oh. get a bunch of small storage because we can't make big storage right now, and then we can get big storage. We're going to have to move everything from small storage to big storage. Naturally. Yeah, I mean it's like kind of moving in a way, only you're not really moving. Yeah. But I, I, I'm I'm used to moving. I know. At this point in my life, I've done it so frequently. It's and almost every year. Well, uh, you know, I do have. I've moved enough. I used to move like what every year or two. Um, that I I do have one thing that actually made moving a lot easier for me. Oh, what's that? Well, and I don't know if anybody has ever like thought about this or tried it, but I mean, one of the hardest parts for me anyway was carrying large, heavy boxes around. And it wasn't the fact that I couldn't carry them, because I could. But sure. they're just, they, they're awkward. They get in the way. They're, they're tough to deal with, and, and we hate them. So what I started doing was I would pack things in smaller boxes so that they were a lot easier to carry and a lot, you know, they were just a lot more friendly to, to have and to move. Okay. So what is this? What are what? There's a recipe for sushi in here. Oh, yes. Uh, I found that in a crate that was, um, it was buried under the water. Well, you know, oh, wow. Okay, so what do we got? Okay, we got, wow. We got a lot of stuff. I, I yeah. Let me, I uh, have, oh, I have wow. grabby hands. I grab many of the things. No, that's, that's fine. I just, uh, I'm, I'm trying to sort my stuff and put them in here, too. Because we want to be neat, you know? And tidy, yes. Uh, well, oh. this this second box we have is now pretty much full. Um, oh, where, where, yeah, yeah. We, I I did I done did that. No, no, that's fine. It's well, I filled it up a little more. We've got. Uh, what should we do? We gotta have a mission. You know what? <sighs> See, storage. Probably, you, 
Oh, should... So it's funny you say that. Yeah. Because I was just thinking, you know, I had this extra bolt and this extra hinge that was sitting in my pocket and I put it in the box. Um, sooner or later, we will have to use them for research. So I thought, why not now? Oh. And then I looked, I looked at the research and by researching this here hinge, that allows us to learn about the larger oh. storage. Okay, my, my soul is already feeling better because we can build big boxes now. Big box. Oh. Well, okay, what what do we have to do? What do we have to have? What do we have to have to make a big box? Well, to make a big box. Oh I god, what are you doing? You're just everything. Oh well, I said I was gonna research the bolt, and bolts are used for some of the better tools, wow. it seems like. Wow, okay. Holy crap. Okay, but for the big box, it looks like we need a hinge, and we don't know how to turn metal into metal and, oh. from, and metal into hinges yet. We don't. Um, well, okay. So first, before we can make big boxes, we got to be able to melt metal, right? Yes. Okay. So to melt metal, we got to be able to build a brick. Right. Um, uh, shoot, do we have... To build a brick, we got to be able to get sand. So, yes, am I, right? I do. Have... I mean, am I, are you following along with me? Am I doing this right? Because I don't know I'm if I am. I'm picking up what you're putting down so far. All right. I do have a little bit of sand. Good to be and researched. It looks, uh, no, I think we just need to grab this sand and this clay, I think, and mash them if you put <laughs> I have sand I have clay uh wet brick did you have did you make a wet brick I made three of them uh okay it's it's kind of like that song apple pen which is absolutely ridiculous I've never heard it and I think I'm I guess I'm glad I haven't it's basically I haven't actually heard the song myself either but it basically goes exactly how I just said I have a pen, I have an apple, uh, apple pen. <laughs> and let me guess, it's probably sold millions of copies, hasn't it? It's been probably, I probably don't know. Probably a I'm... really famous song. Yeah. Well, and if you've noticed that, I don't know why this is, but almost every, like, really famous, like, holy crap, sold a million copies songs are the simplest. They're the simplest things. Yeah. You know, it's like, think about, you know, Michael Jackson, beat it. Just beat it. Yeah. Beat it. Just beat it, beat it, yeah. I mean, wh why? Well, but it did have a good beat to it. Well, and Eddie Van Halen played the solo in it and everything. It was pretty cool. Oh, I didn't know that. That's, yeah. That is cool. That's one of my favorite solos is actually in the song Beat It because it's just a really good guitar solo. And back when, you know, when I studied, you know, guitar and how to play it, I was like looking up guitar solos and kind of mimicking them and trying to play them. And there was the one on the song Beat It. There was a couple of sounds that came out of that that I didn't know how they were made. Okay. And I'm like, okay, well, who made that solo? I, I need to know because maybe I can look the guy up. It happened to be Eddie Van Halen. The one and only. The one and only, and I found out how he made that sound, too. Huh. Because if you get to the middle of that solo, there's this part where the, the, the guitar just sounds like it screams. Like, literally, it sounds like a woman screaming. And I'm like, oh, okay. how? How did he make that? And I found out how to make it. What you do oh. is you, you hold down the note and you bend it up, and while you're doing that, you pull the whammy bar and let it go. So it goes brat on your, on your, um, against your guitar. Oh. And it makes it wobble, and it really sounds cool, man. Oh, I love it. Wow. I'm gonna have to try that. A little bit of guitar lesson for today. Yeah, I haven't played guitar. I haven't, I, they're still packed up from the last time I moved, which hasn't been, it wasn't that long ago, so. <laughs> well, it's, uh. Ironically enough. It's daytime. It is. Uh, I think we, uh, I'm gonna go over here. What, do we need stuff? I mean, we need, well, everything. 
Well, we do need sand and clay, but those are usually found in reefs, and I don't see anything useful below our raft. Is there nothing so, down there? No. Uh, we might have to explore the uh, around the coast of this island. Let's explore. And, and besides, we can get wood, too. Maybe. Yes. With any luck. I see there's a little chicken. There is chimkin. Chimkin? We must eat the chimkin. They are like bird cows. Bird, yes, bird cows. They are I bird like cows. They're, they're the kind of they're the kind of bird that are just that nature just made so we can eat them. But I don't know how to catch them. He's too fast. Um. Well, uh, bow and arrow. I don't know. No, I would need some kind of net. You know, but I'm. I don't know how to do that yet. Do I? Do we? Wait a minute. I found a place where I maybe can get sand. Unless this isn't sand. How? I forgot what sand looks like. Um, it looks like. Uh oh, oh no. Oh, what I happened? am of the. I am of the hungry. Oops! Oh, well, don't die! Don't well, do that. I we, we need you probably, to live. I probably won't die, but I am very slow right now. Yeah, I hate that. You know, I I think that that's kind of the opposite of of what would really happen because. Yeah, no, if you get hungry, you start panicking. Yeah, if you get hungry and you know there's food somewhere, you're not going to, like, wander there. You're going to run your ass off to get that damn food. But what is this that yeah. I have? Um, sand, it looks very much, I don't know, it looks like a little pile of, of like, a little salt pile. Um, uh oh It looks um, circular. On, under the waters. I think I may have got sand, but okay. I, wish I think I found. No, I got clay. Well, you know oh. what? Clay's okay. We we do need that. We we're, we're gonna need but... that. Whoa. Oh. Oh, there is some clay underneath the raft, but right now, there there is not food in my tummy, and I need that. That's good. No, uh, it, it's not good. No, I mean it's good that you get if you get food, then it's good. Yes. I do have one sand, so I put another sand. Uh, how I, do you, how do you make wet sand? What do you need? Uh, oh, wait. You, or a sand brick. Uh, you. Let's see. It is under the resources crafting menu, which is the one that looks like a little screw. Oh, 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 oh! Screw. Okay, I need. Oh well, I need sand and clay. Well, what do you know? I just got a couple of clays. Uh, okay. All right. Speaking of which, and grab that from underneath the raft. I found some more clay down here. See, we're being we're being um very we're being resourceful right now. That is the exact word I was just about to say. Get out of my head. Well, I mean, we kind of gotta think together, or else we'll both like wind up starving, and then we'll starve together, and that's no fun. That's... We don't want that. Yeah, well, there's an entire game based around that concept called Don't Starve Together. I love that game, by the way. I haven't actually played it. I've only seen people play it. So, how has your week been? What have you been up to? Did you... Anything fun My... and new and interesting? I actually... Yes, I, um... Uh, I shoot darts with my partner. We com we participate in a, a league competition, and we're in the novice brackets. Um, but outside of League, we actually um, tried participating in a benefit tournament over the weekend. Ah! So that was very, very fun. Even though I'm I'm not salty about it, but there's no like skill cap on the, the rating of people who are allowed to participate because it was a benefit oh. thing. Oh, so, so you can get like some expert come in and just wipe you. Yeah, so the way it works is your rating is number based, starting from one, and the higher your rating, the higher the, the more skilled you are. And um, so my partner and I uh, combined, we rate as a, a pair uh, at four. Um, we are both, I rate two, she rates two, so we're a four. And we played, in, it was a double elimination tournament, um, and both of the matches that we played, we, were, we were played against a 14 team and a 12 team. So, naturally, we got spanked, oh. but it was a good cause, and I had fun regardless. Well, you know, I, I'm pretty sure that um, this is something that I don't often 
I don't mention this because I, I don't know. It just doesn't seem like something that uh, uh, I guess I don't know if people would find it entertaining about anything or not. But uh, I do enjoy sports. Uh, I mean, like I'm I'm a sports dude. Yeah. Don't like all of them, but I do like some sports. And um, sure. wait a minute. Uh oh. Why is this telling me? One. Oh, because I need eight. I need eight ropes? Really? Uh, sorry, I'm puzzling over, but, uh, yeah, I... I happen to think... that... darts is kind of like the marijuana of sports. In that, <laughs> uh, I think it's, it's the gateway sport. You know, you get... you start watching people play darts, and you get it behind teams, or you, or you actually, um... you know, are, are part of a team, and now suddenly you're getting into it, but... But then, then suddenly you notice, hey, I, I kind of like basketball too. I, I, I really think. Well, okay, yeah, that that makes a lot of sense because most frequently, uh, darts are shot in bars, and True. frequently in bars they will be airing uh, sports on TV. There you go. So See, that does make a lot of sense. It's all part of a plan, you know. It, it really is. It's just it's a plan to get more people into sports so oh, um, I, I was thinking it was a plan to get more people in at bars both those yes both of them <laughs> well i mean you know the bar the bars like it because um you know they get to Bitness. sell more drinks yeah and uh of course the uh the sports teams like it because more people watch it sports yes i'm gonna get more food before i start getting hungry again yeah, I there are uh, a lot of sports that that I do enjoy watching. One of them is American football, and yep, NFL. Yep, the mm. NFL. I love watching, but for any of them, any any of the the viewers who might be who is whose immediate response might be that it doesn't make any sense or you know is is so very weird. First off, there are many non-American sports that are heckin' weird, no. so heck, heck you on that. But American football is very weird. It is weird. I mean, it's like, well, I mean, I don't know. They play it a lot in, uh, like, in the Middle East and in Australia, and it's that one where they bounce the stupid wooden ball and they whack it with a paddle and it goes so... And then they have to, like, do this dance around the... I have no idea how that sport I... works. I have no idea what you're even talking about. I don't even know what it's called. Like cricket? I don't know. I don't even know what's oh. called. Oh, if well, if it's cricket, then I do know what you're talking about. But I don't even. Uh, I'm not even going to pretend to know how that works. Well, one thing I found out, uh, and this doesn't, of course, work for everybody because yeah, some people just really aren't into sports. Um, but some people I've noticed, if you, if you're watching, say, a game of football. And mm -hmm. you explain it to them in a, you know, kind of a simple way. It's like, okay, here's, here's the way this sport works and here's why they're doing this. I, I've noticed people get a little bit more fascinated when you do that, when, when they actually know what's going on and they know what the goals are, then they'll be like, oh, okay, so they need to get from here to there and they only have four chances to do it. And if they don't, what happens? It's like, well, right. then the, the ball goes to the other side and then, then they have to do it. They have to do it again. And it's, oh, and they start getting an idea of how the game works. Uh, right. You know, and I and a lot of that, though, you have to like you have to get past your your frustration of, you know, oh, because it'll be like, well, why? Why four chances? It, it just because I don't because. know the justification for yeah. four. You just, just got to get past that one. Yeah, no, that's true. I, I, well, I think that. There's a lot of things in life that people automatically sort of already know, and if they don't know it, they learned it when they were young, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, however, it's, I guess, frustrating for anything, by the way, not just for sports, but it's frustrating when you're trying to do anything and you just, you don't know how it works. Yes. I mean, a lot of people wouldn't, they wouldn't be doing half the things they do if they didn't know, you know, what the goal was and what you had to do to get there. So mm -hmm. I think, you know, explaining things or, or at least knowing what to do is part of it. That's half the battle, G.I. Joe. Yeah. But, <laughs> but 
But yeah, I mean, you don't have to, you know, football's not one of those things you have to watch. But right. you do have to do things like read, right? Hopefully. I mean, well, there are people who get by without it. There you go. I mean, I mean, think about it. If, I mean, you get taught to read when you're a little kid, but what if you didn't? Mm-hmm. Then um, there'd be a lot of books. You would not be able to understand them. And after a while, wouldn't you just get tired of just... I mean, you wouldn't have any books. You wouldn't need them. And you, right. you'd, you'd be frustrated with the whole thing. It's like, no, I don't want to talk to you. You wouldn't want to, you know, because you wouldn't know what the goal is. You wouldn't know oh, how yeah, yeah, how to do it. So I, I think that applies a lot. And, and we can actually see what happens to people if they don't understand the goals and how to get to those goals. When you're watching somebody who who's not into sports watch a sport because they're like, eh, I'm no, I'm no interest in it. I wonder right. if that, what if that would be like that with with other things in in life if we didn't you know if we didn't understand them already I don't know uh, just a well, question yeah you know, I I don't know see I am very much like that if I don't understand a process that uh, like somebody says well this needs to be done because you know yeah we have to do it so that we can do that there you have the type of people who will Accept that. Oh, this needs a needs to be done so that B can be done. I am not one of those people. I will do it absolutely, but I want to know why, why it has to be done. Oh, I, I won't be difficult about it, but I just want to understand. I want to comprehend why it needs to be done. No, I'm with you on that. I'm completely with you on that. And I see that a lot in my uh, in my my work. I just recently started this new job about three months ago. At this point, um, there is a lot of it's a it's an older company that's been in operation for years and years and years. And due to the nature of the the work, it's a a bunch of you know a bunch of dirty steel workers. They are the type that just they get it done and. You know, modernizing the kind of system. A lot of these people are older and set in their ways. Um, and if you try to modernize their system to for for more efficiency or more organization, <laughs> then they stuff like that, they suddenly don't like you anymore. <laughs> they they won't want to do it. Yeah. And they, or the, if they do, they just do it because you say it has to be done. Man. And and they'll get frustrated about it every time and grumble about it, but they won't it. bother trying to know why it needs to be done. Uh, I need to get more wood. Oh, well, good news is I have many. Uh, I was going to go chop down a tree or two, but I, oh. I, the thing is I couldn't find, I mean, I have an ax. Okay. But I can't there find, were... yeah, I can't find any trees that you can chop. Oh, I did. There were a couple. I found a couple palm trees and a couple of mango trees as well. Ooh, that, does that mean we have fruit? Oh, man. I, You know, I, I think I mentioned on an episode before that I really need to eat more fruit. Yes. And then you know I, what we I did talk about that. You know what I did? You know what I did after that? What's that? I didn't eat more fruit. <laughs> yeah, I, no. I don't I, think I did either. I didn't either. I, I say these things and then I don't do them. I, it's... It's so sad how often I know what's good for me and then fail to do that thing. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's a pretty normal. That's a human thing to do, though. Well, uh, sometimes I worry about myself because I, you know, I worry that this is the thing that, you know, doing what I know is good for myself. That's going to be that thing that helps me live that extra 10 years or 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 help me get out of. Oh. Uh, dangerous situation that I don't want to be in or, or you know, some, I'm going to screw up somewhere and really, you know, just because oh, I, I don't damn, follow I wish my I own advice. I knew how to do that thing or I wish I did that thing. I wish I, I knew. Yeah. Even though you know how to do it. I mean, I don't know if anybody else, I mean, sure. I'm sure everybody else has had this, this process happen where, y you know, you do so or you missed out on doing a thing mm -hmm. and you even knew. You knew before you started getting into the, the whatever situation it was that you should do that thing. You knew it. You Exercising. Even, you even told yourself, I should do that thing. And then you yeah. don't do it. 
and you wind up in a situation and you're sitting there going, damn it, I kn and that's exactly what you needed to have done. Yep, for oh. me, it's, it's going to be exercising. I know this for a fact because my partner is trying to get me to, well, trying to get us to go to the gym more and I cannot <laughs> express how much I do not want to do that. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm actually kind of in trouble with that. And, and the reason why is because um, I've always had that uh, really like swift constitution where I can like um, eat anything and I don't gain any weight, right? Oh yeah, your metabolism is lightning fast. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm starting to get old now. Mm -hmm. And so I am starting to, my, my metabolism is slowing down a little bit. Yep. And I'm starting to gain weight. But yep. Same. I'm not one of those people that actually grew up watching my weight or paying attention to it because I never had to. Yes. And now I 100% relate. Yeah, now it's something that I've got to learn, but I don't want to because I'm old. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> you know? Oh my god. I don't uh, want to because that sucks. It sucks and, it, and I want to. It, it exists to hurt me and everyone says that eventually it will stop hurting and you'll enjoy it and i've tried it many times and i've never enjoyed it no uh i put the uh i put a brick on there a dry brick oh, perfect but there's no nothing popped up for us yet nothing researched no well i researched the brick but oh i see there's nothing um, else that i can pull out of it so are we missing some other things within our means? <laughs> I don't know, but I'll tell you what. Oh, yes, we are. But what you'll tell me what? Well, what we ought to do right now is we ought to make a paddle and get off this island so we can start picking up more, uh, more supplies because we're almost out of stuff and... But there's more things on the island to get. I know, but we don't need things like flowers right now. No, there, there might be more trees. I did find some berries. No, we, we got to get out of here. We got to oh, take off. Okay. We got to go off so we can get. Uh, we got to. Yeah, because we got to get more stuff. We have to or else we're going to die. I don't want to die. Yeah, we need to we need to get rolling. All right. Okay. Hang, hang on a second. Um, let's see. Oh, 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 oh,